So rather unexpectedly, it seems that you could subscribe to Warhammer Plus and come out of it with a small profit. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're returning to revisit Games Workshop's Warhammer Plus subscription service and how it seems that if you'd subscribed last year, you'd be able to have had full access to all their streaming apps and everything else. And if you were able to put in a little bit of work, basically have all of that at no additional cost to yourself. In theory, you could come out with a very small profit on subscribing to watch some animations about Space Marines and Sisters of Battle and such online. In a nutshell, Warhammer Plus is Games Workshop's multifaceted Warhammer related subscription service, primarily being a streaming service that's kind of aping things like Netflix or Disney Plus, but with a lot less content. But it does come with some additional perks and physical products as well. Currently, it's been out for around about a year since its launch, and it's had a bit of a mixed reaction from Warhammer fans. Some people do enjoy it and genuinely find enough stuff to justify its subscription price, usually £5 per month or £50 in the UK, or $6 per month and $60 for a year in the US. I think it's fair to say, though, that it hasn't seen mass adoption. The main thing that Games Workshop tries to sell it for are the streaming content, with shows like The Hammer and Bolter, Angels of Death and The Exodite being some of their flagship offerings. I think for the most part people have been enjoying those animations and do quite appreciate them, but they just don't come very regularly at all. You're not guaranteed to get a new episode of them every week, and it does mean that buying it just for the animations is kind of a joke when you compare it to something like Netflix or Disney+, Plus, where you get access to just ridiculous amounts of content in comparison. For streaming stuff, there's just really not all that much on there. They do also have a few painting tutorial, battle reports, and lore videos, but it's absolutely nothing compared with the many independent operators that there are on YouTube, which I think basically makes all of this just a little bit redundant. Besides that though, you get access to the 40k app, the one that you can scan in your codexes for to have searchable rules, which is kind of useful, though the army builder isn't particularly good as it does have a fair few errors. Then perhaps most interesting for Warhammer collectors, you get one miniature included each year, this one is either a Vindicare Assassin or a Rock Megaboss. Access to a bunch of book content from the Warhammer Vault, and a bonus £10 voucher for Games Workshop that you can spend in their stores. For the streaming content, I don't think it's personally worth it, but if you do think you'd find good use out of multiple different ones of these, I can easily see why a lot of people would justify the cost. What I found really quite interesting recently, though, was the idea that with a little bit of reselling, in theory you could have got the entire year of Warhammer Plus essentially for free provided you weren't actually bothered about the miniatures that it came with. The model that makes all of this possible is this guy, Operative Umbral 6, a unique and I must admit very cool looking Vindicare assassin, perching a fun little diorama and sniping down at an enemy warlord no doubt, eliminating them with a well placed headshot or something. I think there's very few people that wouldn't find a Vindicare assassin really quite a cool miniature to have, even if it was just a paint top as a painting project. The Imperial statue is really quite awesome in its own right as well. And though you can buy Vindicare Assassins from Games Workshop, people do quite like the alternate sculpts that you can get. Collectors will often be happy to pay big premiums for limited edition miniatures, and this miniature in particular seems to have really hit the mark. A nice little diorama that you could just have sat on your shelf, and it's got a lot of appeal to non-gamers I think. It's essentially a little Warhammer ornament that you can have looming over your PC or something, delivering the Emperor's justice from afar. For those reasons, people really quite like this miniature, demand is high, and currently supply is very limited indeed. There's two ways to get your hands on it, either you could subscribe to Warhammer Plus for the year, or you could subscribe monthly. The people who subbed for a year can already get theirs from Games Workshop, but I believe that monthly subscribers are yet to receive their copy. Basically, supply is incredibly limited, demand is really quite high with people willing to pay excessive prices to get him, and it just means that these guys are going for some fairly insane prices over on eBay. Basically, it seems that at the moment, if you did decide to sell your copy of Operative Umbral 6 on eBay, you could probably expect for around about £50 for the single miniature plus PMP. And if you have a scroll through, then there's plenty of examples of ones that have sold for much higher. Typically, I would guess that Games Workshop would sell this kind of miniature for around about £30 or so, but it's the fact that they aren't selling these that pushes the demand so high. Some people are clearly willing to pay these prices for this little cool model. Looking back over the history of people who have sold them, the first people who got their hands on them on May often got some ridiculous values for them in excess of £100. Currently, the average price seems to be around about £50 for them to be sold, plus postage and packaging. I think currently, if I wanted to buy one of these as a buy it now type thing, the cheapest I could get in the UK would be £60. So £55 does seem like a pretty reasonable option. Of course, for eBay, this isn't exactly the end of the story. 
Listings are free for most private sellers, but they do charge a 12.8% final value fee, plus it will be £3.35 for second class postage in the UK, leading to the total theoretical profit for selling this Vindicare Assassin to be something like £44.61. Pretty crazy when the sob itself costs £50, and this guy isn't really marketed as the primary offering, just supposed to be one extra little incentive. I know a lot of Warhammer fans probably won't be the biggest fans of seeing miniatures like this go for vastly inflated prices. I would say that this does feel a fair bit different to, say, scalping though. The people who have got these have just received them as part of a subscription. They've not gone out of their way to buy big box sets to stop people getting them at the normal price. And basically it's Games Workshop's choice to make them a limited edition miniature that's pushed its value so high. So the people who want one are fighting over the ones from Warhammer+. Plus. Of course that doesn't quite get us to our £50 target though but I think that we can just about get over the mark if we add that £10 gift voucher that was announced earlier in the year to try and encourage people to sign up, I think. There's a fair few different ways you could theoretically use this. If you did just want some models and you were going to buy something from Games Workshop anyway, then a £10 off is fine. But if we are playing the game to actually try and make money out of Warhammer+, Plus, then we need to trade it in for cash somewhere. Perhaps if you wanted to go for something that's at least somewhat reliable and you could do without the help of any other parties, Perhaps you could get a cheap kit such as maybe the Gretchen kit. That one's a nice fun orc kit that gets you one Ron Turd and ten little Gretchen. It's £14 normally, so with the help of £4 you can buy that with the gift voucher. And then they resell on eBay for £13 plus PMP. I also chose Gretchen as they are one that you'd be able to send through a large letter. They're thin enough to be posted here in the UK. And postage would cost just £1.05 if you took the sprue out of the box and posted it with the instructions. Theoretically, that would mean that you'd convert your £10 gift voucher into an overall profit of something like £6.29. Though to be honest, if you are part of a gaming club or something, you might well just be able to offload it to a friend who wants some models and was going to get something from Games Workshop. It seems fairly reasonable that you could sell them the voucher for £8 or £9, and they get a small amount off their models, and you get rid of the voucher for a more efficient amount of money. So at least theoretically, when we're playing our silly game of trying to make Warhammer Plus profitable, if we sell Operative Ombral 6 at the moment, then you get around about £44.61. Converting the Warhammer Plus voucher to money through Gretchen would gain you around about £6.30, though potentially a little bit more if you sold it to a friend or something. That would add up to £50.90. Warhammer Plus costs £50 for the year, so we've made ourselves an enormous 90p profit. Maybe not too bad overall when you get access to those animations, the 40k app, the Vault and the other streaming things, if any of those did have some good value for them, and getting those plus a profit is quite nice, though obviously it does mean that you've got to have the time and effort of selling things on eBay, which in all likelihood probably isn't worth it to a whole lot of people, perhaps not compared with working at an actual job maybe. Still though, I do find it quite a fun little thought experiment. Games Workshop's own fairly hefty model prices basically mean that one miniature that they make can be more than a streaming service for an entire year. Of course, that all basically applies to last year's worth of Warhammer Plus. I'm sure at least a few people might be wondering whether or not we could replicate that for this year. And if I'm honest, I think there's really no guarantee. Basically, it would be a bit of a gamble on requiring the exclusive model to be very sought after and also in limited supply as well. For example, the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Mega Boss just really isn't going for the same amount of money. People were a lot less excited by the sculpt when that came out, and that's going for only around £35 rather than £55 despite fewer people picking up the Iron Jaws Mega Boss themselves. They have confirmed that they'll be doing another £10 voucher offering, so that part will be safe again, I suppose. And apparently this next 40k model will be this re-sculpt of the Chaos Terminator, which I made a video about on the channel just a little while ago if you're interested. I think the Terminator model is quite fun, a re-sculpt of a classic miniature, but I would guess that it won't be quite as popular as that very nice Vindicare Assassin. I'd be surprised if it starts going for 50 quid plus. So, no real guarantees about the future, but still really quite a fun little exploit that you could have potentially done this year. Just kind of weird to think that you could sign up to a streaming service and come out of it with a profit. So anyway, hope that's been kind of interesting. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics if you'd like to see more like this. I do tend to post new 40k videos just about every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, which is how I can spend so much time making 40k videos just about every day. If you've been enjoying quite a bit, any support is massively appreciated. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, 
and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big bottle kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening and I'll hope to see you guys next time.